One million dogs in the U.S. are named as the heirs on their owner's wills. And that, my friends, is a fact of life. Thank you, thank you, and welcome to That's the Facts of Life, where we go through all the topics that matter to you and bring you just the facts. Today's topic is, Finder Gets Choosy with Credit Susie. Before we get there, though, let's check in on that naughty list. Top in the list this week is a man who tried to earn the designation of fastest bard from the industry. That's right, the rep joined the industry in 2011, and after deceiving his customers for five years, well, Finder decided to go all Tom Petty on the rep and said, hey, don't come around here no more. <laughs> According to Finner, he deceived his customers by fraudulently misrepresenting and omitting material facts about sales, convinced many customers to surrender existing variable annuities, and at friendly meetings, and when the wine was at to his taste, he convinced others to sell investments and in order to fund the purchases of new variable annuities. He was terminated by his last employer in August of 2015 when it was discovered that his sales practices were a lot less Dr. Jekyll and a lot more Mr. Hyde. In other news, FINRA recently issued a new regulatory notice emphasizing the right of both advisors and customers to resolve disputes in their arbitrary forms, as well as their right to party. <laughs> Dozens of former Credit Suisse advisors recently wrote letters to FINRA and Santa asking for help because they were being forced to use two other arbitration services they didn't want, and all they wanted for Christmas was deferred compensation. <sighs> Well, the letter tugged at Finner's heartstrings and they quickly came to the advisor's aid saying, members have the right to request arbitration at Finner at any time and do not forfeit that right by signing an agreement that says they must choose otherwise. Now, all of this stemmed from last year when Credit Suisse said it was shutting down the private bank where the advisors worked. However, they did have an offer from another bank to join their team. Almost half of the advisors took the offer and the other half chose to go elsewhere, causing Credit Suisse to withhold their deferred pay arguing that they quit voluntarily and therefore gave up that right to the deferred compensation. Well, that'll do it for today. To learn more about industry news, check out the Compliance Digest, and don't forget to tune into an all-new episode in two weeks. And in case you didn't know, Stubbs has been the mayor of Talkeetna, Alaska since 1997. Also, Stubbs is a cat. Meow. <laughs> that, my friends, is a fact of life. fact of life.